If you're already a member of the Enjoying Our Community, please plan to join us every Friday. We have two painting sections together. And this YouTube channel is all about how to paint and draw with relaxation. If this is the first time here, please subscribe and turn on the notification. We're going to start from composition. So I'm going to mix some really light colors. You can use just water if you want. I first use my fingers to try to figure it out on the paper. Where's the eyebrows? Where's the top? I'm going to put my finger over here. There's the top. And I'm thinking about where's the bottom of the eye before the lower eyelid. I'm going to put it over here. So this is, would be the lower eyelid. This is the eyebrows. Right. I'm going to make it a little bit thicker. There's the eyebrows. And this is, would be the eye. Maybe the eye, the bottom of the eye, a little bit higher, like this. So this proximary is the location. And I'm going to think about the, the width of the eye. We're going to double check. Uh, so this is the, the left, this is the right, like this. About over here, right? So try to figure it out. Uh, the space, use your finger to help, and so this is the location of the eye. I'm going to have a little bit warmer, so because I see the color a little bit more red than yellow. Okay, like this. Uh, don't draw too much. Draw what you need to draw, right? This is, would be the upper eyelid line over here, about over here. We're not sure. Yet we're gonna double check, but before you work in the proportion, you want to first figure it out their composition because without the composition, you should not measure the proportion because you don't even know where is it, how big is it that you're gonna do. So, we're thinking about last time we already measure the height of the eye inside the eye over here. It's only one third of the width of the eye. So this is pretty easy. We already know, we already decided this is the width of the eye. And one third is about this much. The eye need to be closer. A little bit lower, like that. And also think about the angle of the eye. Okay, you don't want to make it too high this way. You don't want it too low this way. This is about a little bit higher, the upper eye that over there. Just, just step, step by step in the process. I know the process is very, very important. If you don't get the process correct, if you don't follow the process, you maybe skip some step or maybe even are doing the step incorrectly. So this, the, iris is uh, sitting in this location and coming down over here to the bottom of this space about here like that just use a little light color and you know if you complete the part that being blocked by the upper eyelid and it should be a perfect circle so you don't want to make this look like a very skinny narrow uh, shapes so you need to be think about the whole circle like that. So I think the compositions I already done, and the lower eyelid would be a little bit lower over here like that. So I can use a little bit color to shade it a little bit like that, and use a little bit color over here like that. And next thing we're going to work on, look in the shadow, the bigger shape. The next thing is very crucial. Make the form of the eye, we need to figure it out. Let's take a look at the skin tone. Mostly it's red, so we start from red color then. Okay, right here. And a little bit yellow, that's it. Okay, this is good. Now let's take a look. I'm going to use this one inch flat brush. 
and uh, take a look where is the big area. I see this big color over here, the big area right over here above the on the in the upper upper eyelid area. I'm gonna have just only half of the brush. Now I get the color a little bit smaller like that, and coming over here and get a little bit also onto this space, also over here too. Just figure out, just focus on what area should be in a similar color. Okay, like that. And look at the lower eyelet right over here. And just use one third of the brush width. That's just fine, like this. And this is good. And now over here, have a little bit color too. A little bit darker, like this. And leave the area that's supposed to be light, okay? And then immediately, I'm gonna just clean my brush. Just the wet, just the wet brush, okay? Enough water. And now I'm gonna soften the edge over here. Like that, have this connected, coming down. Like this, make it soft. And just use the water to soften it. It's gonna come up some texture, but it's okay, okay? And let the texture there is fine. We're going to remove the texture. Talk about the technique, how to remove texture after. So on the top over here, also a little transition from the top over there. And also in this area, I'm gonna soften that and have that color move over. This is the only first round. There's no worry. We don't need to make it perfect. Okay, and like this. And coming on the outside over here, I'm gonna add a little bit yellow color. On the outside, add a little red, this is good. And the outside here has a little color, a little bit turning over to the other side. I'm gonna have a little red, a little bit more red over here, like that. And merge into the color here. Here you go. Now this is the side of the face. And I'm gonna add some red color back here again. Some a little yellow, like that. Back a little color, right over here, like that. Here you go. Just think about what's darker, what's lighter. If if you don't want your painting look flat, you got to discover uh, the the form and how to use the value to represent the form. Okay, I'm going to let the color settle, and before I come back to adjust them. And remove some of the area that is supposed to be lighter. So I'm going to have this a little bit lighter. I'm going to extend this color coming down over here to the area of the nose. What we have just done is uh, lifting why is it still wet. After the whole thing drive, we're gonna perform lifting after it drive, and also we do adjustment. In this stage of the painting process, it's very important to not looking at the details, not looking at the line, and not looking at other things, but focus on the very contrast and the transitions. Texture is too much, so I'm gonna soften the edge over here. Let's take a look what we can do. If you use a small brush, so think about how much hair in those brushes and just not much hair. So you cannot actually do it efficiently or fast. Now a little bit softer. That's good. The paper I'm using is Arches Cold Press. And over here can be a little bit softer at the bottom over here. A little bit softer. Now it's much smoother overall. There's a little bit lighter over here too. I'm gonna work into inside of this and also give a little suggestions. 
So I'm going to use this clicker brush and this brush has a good advantage because it has a very, very sharp point, sharper than most the small brush. Also very easy to come back the original shape. The brush itself, it reshaped it for you. Okay, now I'm going to mix a little bit darker color, like a little red, right? What I'm looking for is a little kind of brown color, but mostly red. So I'm gonna have a little bit red over here. If you're not quite sure, in that case, just have a little bit lighter uh, for now. So let's take a look. And I'm going to take a look at over here, this color, a little bit uh, red, a little bit darker. I'm going to reshape that coming over here. That's just the, the shadow of the on the eyelid, like this. So coming over here, like that. So have a little bit, okay, a little bit, a little bit lighter. So I'm going to shape a little bit over here, just red color, and like that, and coming. And some of the things we're not quite sure, so we need to wait a little bit as we're gonna continue developing this. And inside the corner over here has a little bit, like a little bit, leave a little light shape, okay, like that. It's always a good idea to do a drawing study before we go into the watercolor painting. It make you more sure mentally and like that, that's good. I'm going to continue going to on this side and we don't have to make the color really dark. Okay, coming over here and take a look at that. And coming down here, there's a little bit darker over here like this all the way on the left side to the right side. Okay, and some of the detail line, we can put that a little bit later, but I'm going to push it down like this brush, pushing it down like that. You can make the a little bit wider uh, mark and over here too. I'm going to have that coming over here. That's good. Ignore some of the details. It's just focus on how that, uh, how the tone, how they change. Okay. Like that's good. And the top over there, I maybe have a little bit light color just give a little hint. Okay, this would be the area for the upper eyelid over there, like that. And we're not gonna split the line, but just make the little bit darker tone over here, like this. So you can see it, when you use the right tool, it really help you to simplify instead of keep changing it uh, in between the tools. That's what I like personally, okay. And I like this, a little bit coming over here. That's good. I know this color so is not the final color. Now we're going to switch into inside the eye. And it, look at the inside the eye. I want you to squint your eye to see the value of that color. Okay. And also, how can we mix the gray color? It's very easy, right? Just the three color together. If you just the blue, it's definitely too bright. So take the blue color, mix with the uh, red color and have a little bit yellow. That's good. Now this is very great. Now what I want to do, I'm going to put it right in here. Inside this area is pretty, pretty dark. I'm going to put it right here. Okay. And then I'm going to use the, just the water. Now soften it. Now get it a little bit lighter and lighter coming down here. Like that. Maybe you feel kind of, oh, whoa, whoa, that is too dark. The snow, I guarantee it's not dark enough. Okay. I'm going to have it down over here. Get it a little bit lighter and lighter at the front. Now, it's, even here, it's not really pure white. So I'm going to have this color gradually coming over like this. That's good. All right. At the same time, I'm going to put the color into the iris and have a little bit more blue, but it's not really pure blue. So I'm going to mix with the red color like this. 
Now I have the color. Make it a little bit warmer. Now that's good. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this color in here. If it's a little bit coming much into the outside, that's fine. It actually is supposed to be very soft transition and the outside have a little blue. Now you need to pay attention to where is the uh, highlight. The highlight starts from almost the middle of the shape. And now coming over here, and on this side have only a half of the area. So I'm going to just leave this area to be uh, the really the highlight. So I'm just going to have this color in here like that. That's good. Right now, you may be seeing it oh, it's so messy. Well, it's supposed to be messy at this point. First, we're going to create a little bit more clear uh, separation between the eye white and the iris. And this is very easy. We're going to create a little bit soft connections. So I'm just going to use this uh, one inch flat brush. You see how easy this is going to be done. I'm going to have just, uh, just the tip of the brush. Now I can make this a little bit lighter. Now it's already lighter. I'm going to use a little bit more water. Come back over here. Like that. Yeah, a little bit lighter. With this like a push and pull. And you can create something a little bit more connected and this is good already maybe over here make it a little bit smoother over here on this just use the corner that's good enough and and the bottom over here that's good that's all right now it's light enough Okay, and the top over there, I'm gonna try to create the catch the shadow on the top here. So what you would need to do is just take this gray color. Now first, I'm gonna give it a little bit catch the shadow like this. There you go. Now you see the eye will recess in. Okay, that's good. Like that. A little bit. Catch the shadow. And also we can give it the pupil. A little bit darker. Just a little bit darker circle in the middle of the iris. Here you go. A small detail we're going to do for the iris. It's very interesting detail. Okay, that's good. And soften that a little bit. Now I'm going to add a little bit red color to here. Reform the corner of the eye right here. And inside the eye over here also I have a little warm color. So I can put a little red color in here. That's fine. I have a little bit more red on this side. Just one brush draw. If you can do it one brush draw. Like that. All right, I'm going to add a little bit darker line on the top here. Now a little bit more clear. At this point, I can do it a little bit more confidence to know exactly where the line is supposed to be. Okay, I'm going to have this line continuously coming to here 
first like that good and then the second line spread from here like that a little bit softer now i'm going to add a very soft uh line to to suggest the eyebrows right here like that see we don't need to finish it in one round it just a simple line so you need to have a brush that can do a very uh, small thin line okay like this a little toning over here that's nice and a little bit more mostly warm color yeah let's see have a little bit lighter and then darker later okay like that and the eyebrows line it just uh thin to a little bit thicker and then thin okay i'm gonna have a few line like that simple relaxing these are the keywords we want okay now i'm gonna have a little bit darker over here a few line a little bit darker so i'm gonna mix a little bit blue and a little bit more red so have it darker okay on here we'll come back to do more later okay so let's give a little suggestions we want to keep our attention as looking at the whole drawing or the whole painting the whole paper if we're moving forward like in the in the same paste okay now that should be good enough for the suggestions i might have a little bit softer a uh, little bit blending a little bit like that so you don't have to have the line standing out so much okay that's good all right as we're doing that the eye in here we're already ready to go into our next step and the painting get closer and closer and it can look finished. We still need to building more transition in here, but we're gonna do that in our next step. We already have enough on the paper. Now we come back to the second round and think about a bigger shape. I'm gonna take this red color, mostly red. And I'm gonna take a look and just use the a little bit deeper color right over here, see this? Like that now you can use this side and then I use the corner of this and coming over here and I need a little bit more red because this color a little bit deeper now put this over here so you can see you don't have to think about to do it right at the at one time and also the at the first time when you're doing it it's always so difficult to control the texture but after it after you dry when you're doing the second one, it's so easy. Okay. Relax yourself. Now the form much better over here. And also here, I'm gonna uh, expand that a little bit like that. That's good. And now continue using the red color, just the tip of the fry brush. Now I'm gonna look into inside over here. When you use the smaller brush, yeah, you can do the job, but it seems like you have to put a lot more effort than the large brush. You can make the bigger connection much better. Now I'm gonna use just the corner of this brush. It will be nice to use one brush without changing it too frequently. And over here, and make that a little bit softer. Now I'm gonna looking at the lower eyelid. I'm also taking just the red color. Okay, just the red. A little bit more water. Now I'll take a look right here. I only use half of the brush. Now coming over here, a little bit 
transition like that. That's good. Like that. Coming over. And make it a little bit, a little bit bigger. Like that. That's good. Now take a look at the surrounding. And this a little bit softer. Like that. Here you go. And the outside looks good enough. Okay, like this. Now I'm going to use a little bit more water. And I'm going to softly blend this to the outside. Make it maybe a little bit like this. And over here, I can come down a little bit. That's pretty good to create a recreate a form. And in the eyebrows area, I'm also going to shade a little bit over here, like this, and come over. Much better. Now, the next thing I'm going to work on, I'm going to come back with this click of brush, and I'm going to build a little bit red color around. There you can see the a very round turning. And now the color already drive and around the area. So it's much easier to put the color you want without thinking about it. it's going to fade away too quickly. Okay, now I'm going to have this like that. Now I'm going to have a little bit softer, soften. I'm going to add a couple line over here too, like that. A little bit soft, like that. That's good. A little bit softer on the outside. That's good. Now take a look at the little bit orange color. And I think this can be a little bit lower. Like that. That's good. Here you go. Now take a look at this corner. I also have this a little bit warm orange color. And here, take a look now, a little bit more clear. And I have a little bit soft line coming in. Now this, a little by little, we're going into more and more details. And over here, have a little bit, little bit soft orange color. Now I'm gonna just use the water, I'm gonna blend this in. And think about how dark the color is supposed to be, right? Like that. That's good. A little bit. That's good. Connect that into this line. Just little by little. Get it into the small structure. Now I'm going to get a little bit darker color. And in here, in the corner over here, this needs to be darker. That's good. Like that. Darker color over here. At this point, we're ready to work into inside the iris. So first, I'm going to add the color into the highlight. So I see a very blue color on the side over here. Just take a little blue. Just put it like that. Really, really good. A little blue. And just use this brush and move it like this. So you see from dark to turn a little bit light. And that's almost good enough. And I'm going to add a little red. And, and the top over here have a little bit more feeling of purple color. I like that. A little color over here. Like that. That's good enough. That's inside the highlight. Now looking at here. First, I'm going to building up clear, make a little clear. So I'm going to have a little bit purplish color on the edge over here, a little blue red color. Now let's take a look. I'm going to just use this calligraphy brush, just going around over here. Let's take a look. That's good. Look before you continue, and a little bit more. 
coming over here in the bottom and coming on this side. Start over here and moving a little bit more curve. Okay, like that. Do a little bit, look again and coming over here. That's good. Now find a shape. Now let's take a look at inside over here. I'm going to use here a little bit soft transition like that. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to just continue use this a little bit more blue mix into this color and first I'm going to build up a little texture like that. Take a look at be patient, a little texture like this, like that. Here you go. There's some of the detail, they're actually there. You don't need to blur them all together. You want to have them, have those details actually be visible. A little bit over here. A little blue color, like that. And up here, have a little bit much darker, uh, overall much darker. So I'm going to get the blue color with the red, right? Take the red color, mix it into this color. Now become very, very dark. Now I'm going to put that dark color right in here. Like this. That's good. Coming around and also on the top over here, also very dark. Like that is to catch the shadow. Okay, now coming around over here. And coming around on this side. Just take it slow. Enjoy the process. Okay, like this. Now here you go. Now I'm going to come in inside the area of the pupil. And I'm going to Here you go, coming around like this. That's good. Now I'll take a look. I'm gonna have here have a little bit dark color on the edge over here, a little bit like that. And now a little bit connect into the outside over here, I have a few lines over here. Here you go. Now I'm going to have the color a little bit lighter and also have a little bit more yellow and the edge over here. You can see a little yellow. I'm going to put just the yellow color over here and see that a little bit more like a green brown colors. Very nice. Okay, like that too over here. Soften the edge like this. Good. Now I'm going to have a little blue color come back over here to soften that a little bit and let that come a little bit darker to a little bit lighter. And the edge over here, you can see this a little bit darker coming down. Okay. Now, uh, a little bit smaller, and I have a little shape over here. It's still a little wet, so this is going to be fade. That's very good, like that. And I'm going to have a little darker color, make the bottom of the highlight area a little bit clear. Here you go. That's good. A little bit. Sometimes you have to wait until you dry it a little bit before you continue. Okay, on the top over here, like that. I'm gonna have uh, add a little bit more texture and some variety of colors too. Have a little bit more yellow color and the top over here. And the latest step, later in the later of the process, 
you can always think about, oh, it has a little bit more yellow. It's just add the yellow to it. I have a little bit more red, add a little bit of red. Right now I have a little bit blue. So I take a little blue color and just over here and just like this, this brush is pretty good with controlling uh, the transition because the color and the tip, it will be a little bit more color in there, right? You take the color with the tip. So, but when you lay it down like this, you have the whole brush onto the surface uh, moving. Like, so you have a, a, a natural transition. Now I'm gonna take this color, a little bit more red into this. I'm gonna coming over here, like doing that. Nice. I'm going to take a look at what other colors, the details I'm going to add to here. A little big details here. A little details here. Here you go. And a little detail at the bottom over here. But it's a little bit softer. This is good because I just wet it. And have a little bit color on the edge over here, like that. And after you have those shapes into the painting, it will look like more and more real. Okay, now, add a little shape over here. nice okay after you drive we're gonna come back a little bit uh, put a couple more dot now at this point I can switch my tension looking at the lower eyelid and what I need to do is the a little red color coming over here you can see this as I have a little bit very light color going through here like this here you go Coming over here, off, that's good. Connect that over here. A little bit more, that's good. So you can see the form, the small form, how it's turning. I'm gonna get a little red color. Take a look here, now I'm gonna get in here to have a little bit more shape. That's good, like that. And now have a little bit more brownish color. I'm coming over here to create that a little shape. Okay, like that. Okay, now that's good. Now you can see the nice form in at the corner of the eye. I'm going to have this as a connected over here. So I see a little highlight in the inside of the corner over here. Like that. Okay, cool. I'm going to come back with a little more red color. Here you go. Over here. Shape the, the folding of the eyelid. And now I think at this point, I'm going to add a little bit shading on the lower eyelid over here. Now, let's come in, come up a little bit like this. Okay, right, that's good. Now, after this drive, I come back to add a little folding at the bottom. Now, I think right now I'm going to go up here to keep a little bit deeper color. But before I go a little bit deeper color of the of the eye line, and I need to create a smooth transitions from in here to coming out. So I'm gonna just use this brush like this. You can see that the color. Now get a little bit graduate toning. I'm gonna make this a little bit softer. I'll make this area like that. So you can see gradually turning up. So a little bit. So after this drive, I come back to redefine it. And that's a very simple thing. 
I'm going to add a little bit red color at the corner here too. So your attention now and go a little bit more and more into a smaller shape. But every time when you're working the smaller shape, you always relate to the bigger shape. So making sure they are supporting the bigger shape. Okay, like this. All right, now that's good. After we're doing this, this is getting dry. Now I'm gonna come back over here to use the blue gray color and take a look. We have a little bit dark color over here, a little bit more clear shape over here. That's good. Like this. And this a little bit darker. There you go, a little bit more darker shape coming over here. And now we form it. Since we have those shape uh, between the inside and outside of the iris is a little much more clear. That's good. After they have those details, it will make it feel like, oh my God, you see so much thing inside the eye. No, we always start from big and go smaller and smaller and smaller. So you don't need to have so much um, so much responsibility in one one step okay now i'm gonna have a little bit darker over here too like that that's good over here all right now this is dry i'm gonna come back here to have a little bit darker uh this is would be the good color. That's good. I'm gonna come in over here, make a little bit deeper. Just a small line right over there. Okay, and up over here. Now I'm gonna have to add a little bit more red color. A little bit softer. That's fine. Have a little red color. Soften the edge over here. Now here you go. Come back to reform the area a little bit later. Soften that. Okay. Now I'm gonna add a little irises and finish inside the feeling of the iris, uh, the eyelashes. So I'm gonna add a little bit gray color in here. Let's take a look here. It's good. But not really, really dark, but given enough details, enough suggestions, there is the, some irises, eyelashes right over here, like that. Now I'm work, just walking into, looking into the highlight area, you can see a very clear suggestions to see how those eyelashes reflected. Take your time. Some of the line, they kind of like a
connected together. Like that. Nice. And you have this in. Now I'm going to add a few lines, like a warm brown red color. This. Here you go. And I'm going to add a little shape over here. Make sure those colors already dry. Okay, one line like this coming out. Very, very simple. Okay, this one needs to be softer. Just use the water, soften it. And now I'm going to add a little line over here. You see the line? Interesting. Showing. Come in a little. That's good. And let's see. And this is a very bit thicker color. So I'm going to have a little bit red and blue, which will look like purple. Also a little color, feeling a little eyelashes. And a little suggestions over here. Let's continue building up a little bit more suggestion, but pay enough attention to the observation, okay? Don't just automatically doing it. The eyelashes, it seems easy, but if you're not doing it right, it doesn't look natural. Okay, like that. Let's pick up the suggestions. And that's good. And I'm gonna have a little bit That's a little bit dimmer. All right, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm, yes. Ah, uh -huh. let it dry before you come back. Yeah, I'm gonna use this brush, the, just the tip, to leave up a little color because this this brush seems like I have a little bit. It's a very good uh, function for lifting up a smaller shape. Just a little bit. It has a little lifting over here too, showing a little shape, a little light. Just a little bit lift, a little bit shape. That is good. That was suggested. Now come to the corner over here. Have a little bit red. Like that, that's good. I'm gonna make a little bit more red color. Just showing the form, the small form inside over here. So when you are at the early stage of the painting, you don't need to worry about too much of this details, because you can do that very effortless in the uh, in the later part of the painting. Like that, that's good. All right, now I'm gonna come back to do a little bit, a little shape under here, a little suggestions, some broken line, and here you go. A little bit coming around over here. So this is the time you do that. And now I'm gonna have something even softer. It's just very light color. A couple lines suggested. That's good. And now I'm gonna add a little bit soft color. A little warm 
warm gray color. Give a, a couple suggestions for the eyelashes and the lower eyelid. Like that. That's good. A little bit orange color at the corner over here. 